Yo sub guys, this is Happy No with another Guild Wars 2 PvP video and on this video I'm gonna show you one more time the Daredevil Dagger Pistol Thief. For that you need the Heart of Thorns update, an expansion update and you have to be a good player to play this. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make uh, some sort of guide video again about the Thief because I'm a Thief, I'm a professional Thief and Thief is the profession that I played the most after or it I am not sure if I played it more than my guardian but it is somewhere in between uh, I play both the most I'm a guardian and thief master and I doubt that people will be on my level with that um, yeah I know I fail a lot on my recordings but that's because I don't focus and I just want to show you more things and when I talk I can't really focus on the game how I should but I try to give my best like that and for that I'm gonna just talk at, at the beginning here about what is the thief and for what professions you need hit. The thief is one of the hardest professions, especially for newer players you should not play thief because it is tricky to play thief, you have low HP, you have um, how to say it, low condition cleans because you don't, you have to know how to dodge and avoid damage to be good. And new, newer players don't know that, they don't know how to exactly dodge when what attack and stuff like that, so it is hard for newer players, so I don't recommend that. Of course if you want to just try it out you can, if you want to have some fun playing Thief, but for professional PvP I talk now here, for competitive season, you have to get some skill before you play it. Because Thief is not for anyone I will say, I know it sounds a little bit, yeah what is he talking and stuff like that, but it is a little bit tricky for that and here we go we have my faux fire thief because of the faux fire shoulders and faux fire wraps which looks pretty awesome electro blue dye with uh, shadow abyss and the fractal cap capacitor backpack looks also also awesome and yeah now here we go with battle of Kylo, the perfect example for a thief map this is the thief map number one because you have a lot of spots where you can port for example an enemy is chasing you you can just port up here and he will be down there for example a warrior and you can just also start by doing that you have to know a little bit also the distance and then you can just port here on three spots for example a mesmer ports up here but he won't be able to port back here to chase you again uh, the other thing what you can do of course is also you can just port down here and port back this is something that you have to really learn how to use that it is a little bit tricky but once you learn that you will know how to do that exactly uh, the enemy comp seems to be really nice they have from every profession something we have two warriors one druid and one maybe firebrand i haven't watched that uh, so we can also have a good comp here depending on the warriors if they are strong 1v1 players they will be able to hold on against that a dagger dagger one which is really nice and the core guardian with the hammer okay this is a dps comp that we have here oh my goodness and i just used my shadow stab but never mind i don't really need that we can go at the beginning of the fight do this on a on a spot where your allied friends can see it because most of them just run away okay they want to go far we can go far here we can try and go and backstab this guy before the time is up and we just have him now we, we need to wait here what I do is I always try to just uh, interrupt the first attack of the holo smith and after doing that we can just interrupt this guy here he's playing uh, he's playing uh, mirage with dps we can try and interrupt this guy as you can see here what I'm doing is I'm supporting my allied friends against which one they are attacking. We can do this, auto attack with Basilisk Venom and this guy is dead. And now we can just also auto attack this guy, interrupt him, interrupt nothing and now we can steal after he's doing some of these attacks. We do this, blind his knockback and then we can stomp safe. As you saw this is just a pure timing gameplay. Oh my goodness and my shadow stab is also failing I don't know how and why but it just failed the holosmith is here we can just try to interrupt this guy okay he's a bad holosmith which is a little bit sad 
could we just stomp him here? Uh, it's, it is an unranked arena game. So what I do now is I don't wait there. We just interrupt him. I know he has Ender Pain. We interrupt him one more time. We interrupt him here. We interrupt his next attack. We interrupt him one more time. We stealth up here. We can try and not backstab because he was shield blocking. We interrupt. Now we can just try to do this. We interrupt this guy. The Mesmer is here. We can try and interrupt nothing, but we can pistol free and chase him. He might port up here. So we just do this, but he seems not to be up here, which is bad. Uh, the Guardian is on our clothes. We can go and attack this guy. He will try to res. We interrupt that. We remove his stability. We fear him now out of the point. We give ourselves and our allied friend here Basilisk Venom. We step up here so we can get a safe stomp. We can go now on close and immediately support my friend here. And as you can see it here, I'm playing on three points within a few seconds. My early friend here seems not to need any help, but oh my goodness, he just blinded me. <laughs> uh, we need to watch. Yes, we are able to. As you can see it here, my friend just lost the 1v1, but I was immediately there to just provide him from getting stomped or getting killed immediately. And here we go. Now what I'm doing is also I'm checking out the targets. So the lowest is here and we just attack this guy. We interrupt him. We interrupt him not. We auto attack this guy. Now we can just immediately stealth up and stomp this guy. This is a good example for uh, having a view on the map. I just decap it because this guy here will come and recap it immediately. So I don't do a full cap because it takes a little bit too long. We can now just try and focus on the right target. But we are not, oh my goodness, I saw that he dodged, but I just attacked him there. We hide here behind the wall, because we don't need to get a uh, view. Uh, what is this guy doing? He should cap, and I should fo uh, jump after the, the Mesmer, but never mind. Now this is dangerous, I see the Guardian coming, so I just protect myself a little bit. I try to get a net quick attacking onto this guy. We try to backstab, but he has shields up. So we just stealth up again, and then we backstab him here with a 5.6k backstab. We go on the point. We don't let the Mesmer get the full cap. Uh, he he got a full cap or recap, I don't know what. We interrupt. And now I see the, the situation. Far is free. We can go and decap it immediately. This is just some basics that you should always have now close is uh, capped from the enemy team is it this guy we try to when we want this guy now here he will use the I wait till he dodges he's not dodging so we can just stomp him here he will use his skill not okay we can go and port up here what is this guy doing he's getting chased from the warrior so we stealth him up, he's attacking, why is he attacking, he should not attack. Oh my goodness, I have blind, I have blind, I wanted to steal him while I res, but yeah, I had blind from the other guy. So what, what is the enemy team doing, they are having no one there, so we can just go in middle and decap it. It is an unranked arena game and the Mesmer is here, he will attack me, he will attack me, we dodge that, yes, you see that this is... Uh, just some ga basic game knowledge if you see a mesmer or something like that from a distance You know that he will attack you and what am I doing is I'm just decapping the points So the enemy team will get no points, but my team has also no points But we are not able to change that So far we have two players here on one point and this is uh, a Difficult situation. I can't do an anything against that. I can't 1v1 the spellbreaker So I have to go and close and help my allied friends there. Now I see the Mesmer is here and I will try and catch this guy like this with a backstab and we have him. Now we will create a new dis uh, situation. We port up here. He has no ports left. 
that's what what, uh, what was wrong on the guardian what he did wrong is he used judge's intervention to attack me to get me with this great sword five but it was a mistake we won't let down poison we just wait he will uh, activate his block immediately is he activating his block now he's blocking my allied friend ally friend is attacking we need to dodge twice we do this okay i'm not able to steal from that position i don't know why we stealth up we use our shadow step to prevent the stun we interrupt nothing we do this we auto attack him now <laughs> he's not so strong he's playing dps we activate this we can stealth up here we can stealth up one more time and the guy is dead here we can prevent him from knocking us back by auto attacking this guy what what is going on we do this stealth up we activate this now oh he was just having his we have stability so we don't have to be careful about that we have to dodge a little bit and now we can just steal onto this guy no backstab now this is dangerous i have to run away the necro is coming plus the holo has his um s s s uh, what is the name of it what is my friend doing uh, stability attack okay the guardian is here we just poke him here to get him onto the combat so he won't be able to pour back onto the point and my friends should get close here safe this is a little bit difficult situation now because i have no idea where my friends are going and what they are exactly doing but we can just stealth up here they won't see us a good holo smith would have heard that now uh, that I just walked into his mine we can do this to poison them uh, to poison to turn them into stone and two players are running on their close point which is nice we can just auto attack this guy a little bit here he wasted his uh, f1 blind oh my goodness I'm just getting from all the guardians the entire time blinded which is so painful uh, the engineer is playing with a turret cool we do this we stealth up one more time he's here somewhere I interrupt his mantra focusing and we just auto attack kill him here he will die and now we can again what my ports are just look at this my ports are just all failing hmm i hate this bug map uh, if my ports will not fail <laughs> this game will take 15 minutes for sure almost for sure i have no idea how this is even happening we do this we wait till he dodges and then we just auto attack this guy we can stealth up my friend here and stomp this guy what is going on i'm not stomping I'm not stomping but why we do this blind them blind them blind them blind them and auto attack okay okay at least we have something going on now we will uh, prevent my team from getting a decap there we don't backstab because he immediately dodges but we can port up here and now we can try to backstab this guy we auto attack him here we activate this we pistol three him we interrupt and we will now just he has no dodges left oh but he did a great job there okay the mesmer is playing dps but he's doing kind of good i guess now we can support close again uh what is going on this guy yes he seems to be able to get anything going but i'm not so sure we immediately steal onto this guy we stealth up this guy 
and we just give basilisk venom to all of th all three of them we lay down poison he should die now if not my friends should do it are they able to kill this guy or not they are not able to <laughs> kill him which is really bad <laughs> this is really sad <laughs> Okay, never mind. We can go on far now. I know I should support here on close, but maybe with a little bit of luck, the enemies won't send no one on uh, on their close. We can immediately decap it. Yes, we will be able to decap, and we can now immediately run middle again. Who? This game would be so close, but I can't do a lot more. I know I could play it a little bit more focused, but we just stealth up this guy. He's just jumping up. Why? we do this oh my goodness i need to heal i need to heal we interrupt this guy oh and he got me he got me we do fear we fear him but he shatters onto me he will kill me or not but we will at least get the cap what is this guy doing kill him come on kill him <laughs> he's not able to get any damage going on to this guy <laughs> uh, he will die also he will die also yeah, he will die also. Come on, kill him. Hmm. I mean, it's an Unranked Arena game, but it, I don't. I have no idea how we are playing so so mixed. I I want to see the rating chart, how much I, how many decaps I got, and stuff like that. We need to run quite quickly onto their far point because that's the only point they have. They will get also middle, but at least we will decap far, and that's the only thing that I can do decap it and maybe run onto middle and prevent the full cap on middle but it seems it will not be I will not be able to and the game is over <laughs> or let's see if I can just huh, nah no way never mind I got top stat offense and kills of course I got 21 kills this is nice and offense 229 this is really awesome <laughs> wow uh, team versus enemy earned by making capture progress or being in a combat near a neutral or enemy capture point I was 50% of the time fighting on a uh, captured or on a point of the enemies uh, killed the number of enemy players that you have helped killed 61% and the least percentage that you should have is like 50% I will say you should be having 50% of the kills of the entire team and I have here 60% which means really nice I will say <laughs> and deaths you can see tier 1 and this is only because I was uh, trying to hold the cap and get the kill but it was not I was not able to normally I would have run away but it was in any way the last second so never mind and you see tier defense earned by making capture progress and being in combat near a capture point that you your team owns I was also 50% of the time near my captured points which means I have a hundred percent time uh, being in combat near enemy points or near our points which means I really have no off time you can say it like that I have no time where I was chasing an enemy off point being useless I was never off point doing nothing I was always near enemy capture points decapping recapping fighting on a cap point damage is also nice 270k we are not a damage dealer healing is also nice 151 deaths could have be zero but it's also okay uh, uh, number of that which I helped killing 18 so which means I haven't killed anyone alone but it is also nice because it is not a game the daredevil is not there to kill enemies on 1v1 uh, yeah, that was just some to show you what a good thief should do. I know I failed also a little bit, but I tried my best. And now let's just talk a little bit about the thief and the combos that you can do. We have here the target golems, which I recommend for all newer players or for players who play a new profession to test your skills and attacks here. Uh, the first thing that you have to learn is the backstab, which is like this. You just stealth up. You go behind your target and then you just backstab. I know on those golems it fails most of the times, but I don't know why. We try it again here. Backstab 5.2k. 
Backstab is a really heavy hitting attack which can hit up to 10k if you have a lot of might stacks and if you crit. And it depends all on the enemy. Okay, this is bad revealed. And now to the combos. At the beginning of the fight, as I always do that, you can stealth your allied friends. I know uh, lower skilled players don't know that. They will just run past that, but it is good to know and good to do. The first thing that you have to do is black powder and immediately swap to your short bow and cluster bond. I just show it to you here. One, two, three, four, five, and you will get here 12 seconds of stealth. The combo that I do is black powder, immediately swap to short bow, cluster bomb three times plus blinding powder, which will stack 12-13 seconds of stealth for you and your allied friends. And at the beginning of the fight you also have to basilisk venom up like this. You have here an allied friend, you can basilisk venom and he will get a basilisk venom attack as well. By doing that you will have the upper hand. First one is basilisk venom. The first attack of every one will turn the enemy into stone, which is pretty pretty powerful and especially strong if you attack from a stealth position. Uh, by doing that I mean if you have here 5 players, all are stealthed, you can go behind the target, target it and all your allied friends will attack it and you have a sh uh, backstab for example. So half of his HP will be gone when you backstab him right. And the rest of your team can attack that and you just your your job is to just uh, poke the enemy and interrupt his healing with headshot headshot and you can do that from a distance you don't have to go in close combat and get attacked from the enemies you just have to do this this a uh, few times I know sometimes the enemy will not heal even through his shirt and you just do this and then you can just wait a little bit and if you have stability or something like that if he's under 30% HP you can just immediately steal and heart seeker onto the enemy by stealing and heart seeker you see this below 25% you will deal uh, you will get an additional damage boost of 500 which means you will deal a lot of damage by heart seekering and stealing onto the enemy if he's under 30% HP which is really really painful and here on the Revenant I will show you how the power of the interrupts. By attacking this guy we can just do this. He will come to me and now we will inter... Oh my goodness. Okay I just failed that. <laughs> we will interrupt his elite skill. We can interrupt his auto attack. We interrupt nothing now. We do this. And now we go behind him and backstab nothing. Okay. <laughs> this is bad. And now I show you here something else. If you want to prevent getting a knockback, you can just sh what is going on? My my infiltrator's arrow is just bugging. I don't know why. Hmm. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just show you the power of interrupts here of the necromancer. Pistol four and steel are our interrupts, and we can just start the battle bit with uh, with attacking four here with pistol three. He will attack, he will use another attack, we interrupt him and you can see it here how many interrupts we are applying onto the target. Uh, you have For that you have to know enemies attacks. For example you have to know every profession, every attack what they do. I especially like to interrupt necros because when they use their staff you will see the animation of using a mark. You will immediately interrupt him and most necros just try to spam their marks to get more of their life uh, life shroud or what is the name of that and by doing that you can just immediately interrupt 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 you can also spam pistol 4 most of the times against bad ne necros because they will just spam marks and you will get three f three times for sure uh, headshot interrupt and you will get the proc from your build and apply heavy damage to that pulmonary impact yes uh, what else can you and should you know about the daredevil? Hmm. You just saw it in the video. You have to know where to port the port spots. You have to know where to go. You have to watch the minimap a lot. You have to know which one is the best target. You have to know that you don't do one we want. You can't do one we want and just time waste if your team has the upper hand, has two caps, 
and the enemies are let's say three players alive you can go and 1v1 something and just time waste but otherwise never do 1v1 because it takes too long you have to decap points fast and run back to your friends and for example as you saw in the middle i could have supported my friend but i also saw that far was free i went to decap far and went middle to support him i know he died and we died both at the ending but never mind he should have survived that and i should have gone middle and killed the enemy then and we will have got the middle cap plus far was decapped which was an advantage for us but yeah never mind you can't decide which team you are yeah if, if you are in the better in the good team or in the bad team but never mind <laughs> i don't want to take the video too long so that's basically it uh deadly arts i don't gonna talk about the build because i talk about the build on every video watch one of my other videos to see what i talk about the builds uh, it is still the same it is about removing boons interrupting the enemy being annoying trying to decap move fast and so on and so on and basically that was it guys if you want to know anything about the thief or if you need any tips or tricks more of that just write down in the comments and i will make another video now that was it thanks all for watching you will see now three of my other videos and you can also subscribe to my channel only if you like to if not don't do it that was happy no i see you in my next videos bye bye guys